Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Sagittarian Menson. I want to say congratulations all you Sagittarians. You are just one of the luckiest people on this planet. You know, congrats. The Energy Vibration Reading for this month is the energy of the fire energy. And in the first half of the month, the energy comes in with... Um, the air energy and then it changed in the third week and then in the um, two last week it's uh, the water energy as I look at your reading it's so beautiful because you have twice the chariot twice the chariot because the energy vibration of the month of June is the energy of the chariot the energy of the chariot is success victory uh, luck just wonderful thing there's a lot of changes a lot of people will be going a lot of you Sagittarius will be traveling going on vacation um, I have to make decision about traveling you'll be connecting with wonderful new people good news is coming in um, um, success a lot of success is coming in some people will be finding exactly what they want good news about money is coming in money is um, a significant role people are going to help you this sort of a thing so good situations are coming in your life and your focus is also the chariot so you have two chariot two chariots this is extremely extremely wonderful I want to say to you guys thank you for your support your likes and shares please thumbs up these video if you'd like to connect with me connect with me uh, via clarity or catacon at link um, at the bottom I want to say to each and every person be aware of what is going on around you and I have changed up the energy vibration so I am doing the sun moon and rising sign after the general reading so um, stay tuned just go it will just fall over and it is a sun moon and rising for um, this sign so whether you were born in the day you're the sun and in the evening you're the the moon okay so this is a wonderful reading this is a positive reading all you fire sign people have been having wonderful positive readings coming up for you which is just so beautiful so exclusive and so good um as I look at these reading and seeing what is happening is that we have five weeks and the first week we have the energy vibration of the hurt and the hurt brings you the six of Pentacles so in the first week there will be a message about money coming into you so the six of Pentacles is going there's going to be a message about money coming into you if it's not money it's little gifts or little money and um, maybe something that you weren't aware of something that was not paid out and um, you know it's it, they realize that you need to be paid out so this is wonderful um, the, the this energy vibration is a wonderful energy vibration because when the six of Pentacles comes up it can be some people are going to give away gifts or some people are going to receive seeing that it is in the beginning and it has the energy of the Empress brought you the six of Pentacles it's going to be um, things so it says um, earthly things that you need to survive your survival things so it's going to be little gift like people inviting you out for dinner people or supporting you supporting you with what you do but these are little gifts and you will be receiving it's not um, given you'll be receiving because you're going to get a message about it and the six plus one is seven another seven so there's now all three sevens in your reading so the first week is the number seven please write these number down maybe they will be of some significance and help to you um, in um, this month as we look at the second the second week we have the energy vibration in the second week um, this is wonderful we have the energy vibration in the second week of the Queen of Pentacles so this is wonderful another Pentacle element you guys got all the Pentacle this month reading with a lot of other signs you are the one who got the energies of the Pentacles so as I say congratulations it is a wonderful sign um, the 
Queen of Pentacles is here and there's a cleansing coming out and she's going to help you because you're going to move and elevate so something wonderful is going to happen to you she's going to move and elevate herself and she is going to help you if you're looking for a job if you're looking to start your own business if you're you're looking for help to do something she is going to help you this queen of pentacles okay so whatsoever is happening to you um sagittarians out there in the second week you're going to connect with a queen of pentacles which is earth sign it can be a taurus a virgo or a capricorn and she is going to help you to make a decision and she is going to bring you to something real positive and it's somebody who really likes you so this is extremely extremely wonderful okay um as we go forward um as we go forward we have the energy vibration in the middle of the month the energy of um you have no more money worries okay you're not worrying about money the aspect of money you have no worry um there comes an end to a situation a conflict that was going on and if you were pressed for money in the months before this is going to clear up this is going to be extremely wonderful this energy vibration of the money situation is going to clear up and people and friends good friends are going to come in and help you whatever is happening you are going to find yourself elevating at such a high energy vibration and you're going to understand that you know um, sometimes friends are better than you know having it all but but whatever is happening someone is going to there are good friends good people out there who are going to help you because you have no you have no need to worry about money okay you have absolutely no need to worry about money people are going to come in and help you seven and eight is uh, um 15 15 a five twenty five seven another seven okay there is something <laughs> with this reading <laughs> okay again 18 one is uh, nine um um 16 it's 16 seven and eight seven oh you know whatever way you look at it it turns out to be a seven one and six is seven so you know congratulations whatever is happened you're on the good part you're going with the flow and um, the chariot is here twice you have the number seven at the in the first week you have also seven again in um in in in, in the third week so this is wonderful seven oh my gosh this is so wonderful um this this is extremely wonderful because you have an eight in the second week so you have um seven in the first week eight in the second week in the third week you have another number seven so that is good so as we move on we have the energy vibration of the Praying the pentacles oh my god the four of pentacles you are all with the pentacles you sagittarians the fourth week you have the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is a stable if you are planning on going on vacation the money is going to come and um i see a lot of traveling and the money is going to come there is going to be help there is going to be wonderful energies coming in whatever your financial situation was it's going to come to an balance and money seems to be flowing to you your financial situation is going to be at a balance because the seven the, the seven of Pentacles is in the reverse form that means you are not worrying or waiting for the money the, the flow the blockage for your money is being released and money is flowing to you for the people who are going on vacation it's going to be wonderful a lot of money is coming from far to you so whatever um, the situation is whether you're working and that sort of a thing but it's coming in okay it's coming in the money uh, if you need money or whatsoever it's coming in the flow of money is going to come to you because you start the month and it's all about the Pentacles it's all about financial balance 
in your life and this energy vibration is so vibrating at a high energy vibration another seven is coming in there's something here the fourth week is also the number seven so we have seven we have eight um we have another seven and we have another seven <laughs> so okay this is a message for Yuli out there okay as we move on to the last and final week we have the king of the the knight of swords in reverse which is excellent so if you have someone of the air sign who was coming at you it could be your kids it could be teenagers and that sort of a thing with words that cut like a knife it's going to be over this person is in the reverse and with this being over and this was a situation that is coming from past lives um, the wheel of fortune has bring this person and is in the reverse form and this situation is happening for you and it, you're going to find a solution you have finally find a solution to the situation you have finally found the solution to the situation so the wheel of fortune brings you a lot of success but yet still um, you know success to um, certain aspects certain situation if you are looking to find a way to clear a certain aspect and that sort of a thing this is happening because whosoever this air sign was he is now in reverse and he's not affecting you anymore because you have changed certain aspect of yourself and you found the solution to a problem and he is now in reverse and this is going to be extremely wonderful for you so congratulations as I said before you Sagittarians are just being so wonderful because you're uh, raising the energy vibration of certain aspect of yourself and by doing that uh, the, 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 the two chariots didn't come for anything so some people are going to have huge success victory success triumphant over obstacles triumphant over things that was going on triumphant over the blockage that was in your life and this you can see because in the last and final week you have the number um, uh, um, uh, three four seven I can <laughs> Okay. 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 Three times seven meaning that you are on the right part. Okay. This is amazing. You have one, two, three, four, five, six times seven people. So three, three, three. And I am going to read something from Doreen's book about the number 77 energy. This is amazing. This is amazing what is happening. And I'm sorry, I have to move away from the camera. But this message is just so unbelievable. This is mind blowing. Um, the number 77. Okay. I'm reading for you the number seven number seven you're on the right part and the outcome will exceed your ex exception the number seven is a sign that divine miracle is supporting you and opening doors of opportunities that's the number seven okay as I look for the number 77 we have keep up the great work everything is working out um, everything everything you're doing is right on is having the Midas touch so keep up the good work everything you're doing right now has the Midas touch that's number 77 as we look at three times seven this is so amazing you have six seven three times seven oh my gosh this is amazing I have not seen this and I 
I really didn't see this before I started to read it. This is just so wonderful. Wow. Okay. You have two, two times, three times seven. And it says, you're definitely on the right part in every area of your life. Stay balanced and spiritually aware so that you can continue moving forward on this illuminated part. So I am so happy for you, Sagittarians. This is extremely, extremely wonderful. Um, success is coming at you. Huge success is coming at you. This is going to be extremely wonderful. This is going to be positive. This is going to be a time when certain aspect of your life is going to change. I've changed up the reading. Um, I, my guides are saying to again a seven, a nine, a seven, seven, seven. Okay, I have changed up the reading and we're doing um, your sun, moon and rising sign to see what um, what um, zodiac signs are going to affect um, the sun, moon and rising sign people and what planetary system is going to affect the sun um, energy from you guys. Okay. And what zodiac sign is going to affect the moon rising sign for you guys? Oh, wow. And what is going to be the planetary aspect for the Sagittarians? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay guys you're special this is amazing okay for the sun moon and rising um signs for you sagittarians uh, the sun moon and rising meaning the sun is when you were born if you were born in the day or uh, in the morning uh, between six a.m. and 6 p.m. this is your sun rising sign you will have um the energy of the Aquarian people supporting you in this month they can either work with you uh, the Sun energy is uh, bringing them in to heal a certain aspect of your life so the Aquarians are going to be a vital are going to play a vital role in your life in this month and um, the planet is Pluto so it's going to be some for some people very aggressive especially for some people who do not vibrate with the energy vibration of Pluto but um, whenever Pluto come in your sign it's uh, all about aggressiveness so um, the Aquarians are going to come in with the energy vibration uh, the planetary energy vibration of Pluto which is going to work with you guys so this is just going to be extremely wonderful um, it's going to be good for a lot of people and for a lot of people it's going to be um, what is happening to me um, I need to know but you're going to work with so many um, Aquarians people okay for the moon sign in um, Sagittarians you are going and the moons the moon um, rising Sagittarians or the people who were born um, from uh, 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. in the morning so if you were born between the time of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning you are a, a Luna a Luna which is a moon sign who are going to affect you in uh, this uh, a month you're going to have people so it says the Capricorns and people so it says the Leos okay so you Sagittarians are going to be supported by the Capricorns and the Leos there's going to be conflicting energies with the Leos so for the um, moon rising people um, this energy vibration is going to be here um, it can support you or it can work against you but these are the sort of a zodiac energy people who you're going to have contact with and who are going to come in to help you in the month um, of June this month and you know the Capricorns um, 
with a Sagittarius are very good because they're so closely together, especially the people who are born in the first uh, part of uh, um, the zodiac energy of um, the Capricorns and that sort of a thing. And for the Leos, it's going to be like um, so good and so positive. So the Capricorns and the Leo are hurt, and your own fire sign is coming in to support you. So help is on the way whatever situation you're going through for the people who were born at that time and have an effect of the moon um, the moon energy you're going to have the energy vibration of the Capricorns and the Leas coming in I want to say to each and every person please like share these videos thumbs up I am wishing you one of the most fantastic beautiful months and I'm saying namaste until next month